Good day everyone. We will configure SQL Server reporting services using always on availability group in this video. Let's get started. I'll be using the JBAG availability group for this particular demo. JBS AG1, JBS AG2, and JBS AG3 are standalone database servers and are part of um, always on availability group JBAG. JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 are synchronous replica and JBS AG3 is an asynchronous replica. So what we'll do is like we will uh, open the SSR as that is SQL Server uh, Reporting Services Configuration Manager and configure uh, uh, report server and report server TMDB to use uh, JBS AG1 uh, database server initially. And once the databases are created, we will add those two databases into uh, availability group JBAG. And then what, what we'll do is like we will um, reconfigure um, um, the reporting services from um, the configuration manager to use the always on listener instead of JBS AG1. Once that is done, we will try failover and fail back and see if SSRS is working fine. Let's get into the SSRS server and uh, do the required configuration. So let's open the reporting services configuration manager, connect to it, and then go to database here, and then click on change database. Since this is the first time I'm configuring it, I will use the create a new report server database. Click on next. Here I will use JBS AG1 initially for creating these two databases. So this is the credentials that I'll be using to connect. Let's click on test connection. It is working fine. Let's click on next. So the database name would be report server and the temp database name would be report server temp. Let's click on next. So the authentication type, I will uh, select Windows credentials and then I will uh, use the account that I'll be basically using to connect all these uh, SSRS and uh, SQL database. Let me key in the password. Let's click on next. Let's wait for it to complete. It's currently running the database script. setting up the DSN let's give it uh, two more minutes okay so the configuration is completed and I see no errors everything is uh, success here so let's click on finish uh, let's wait for the report service to uh, restart. It is online now. So if you see here, uh, we can see that uh, this is now configured. So what we'll do now is like, let's go back to um, the primary server, which is JBS AG1, and let's uh, refresh it here. And then if we see the databases, we will be able to see report server and report server TMDB. So let's click on properties, and then let's look at the recovery model here. So the recovery model for this database is full, all good. Let's look at the report server TMDB, which will be having a recovery model of simple. Let's change it to a uh, full recovery model because uh, always an availability group needs the database to be in full recovery model. So let's click on OK. Let's take a backup. I'll not be worrying about the location because this backup is just to meet the prerequisites for always an availability group. Tasks, backup. Okay, the backups are done now. So now what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to head back to the availability group. And then here under availability databases, I'm going to right click and then click on add database. Let's click on next here. And then uh, both these databases are meeting the prerequisites. So let me check that click on next let me connect to these two instances click on next so I'm going to use automatic seeding here all green let's add it
gonna take uh, maybe like one two minutes it's done now so let's click on close let's check if uh, these two databases are available in uh, JBS AG2 and uh, JBS AG3 yep I'm able to see that so now what we'll do is like let's head back to uh, the SSRS server and here what we'll do is like under the database tab let's click on change database again instead of selecting create a new report server database this time we will choose uh, an existing report server database option let's click on next and instead of uh, JBS AG1 I'll be using the listener so the listener name is JBS APP if you want to check that let's do it once so this is the availability group so we have the reports of and reports of at MDB and this is the listener. So let's go back to the SSRS server. So I'm using JBS APP. So I'm uh, selecting the database JB report server here um, and then click on next. Let's key in the credentials. and then let's wait for the completion yeah everything seems to be okay now uh, it is all success so let's click on finish let's wait for the reporting services to restart okay, if we look at it here so the sql server name is jbs app and uh, we have the required credentials uh, uh, which is selected as jbs wiki slash jwake 2 k1 so we have ensured like the report server and report server tmdb is added to always on availability group that means like we have uh, the required a high availability and uh, disaster recovery as far as the reporting services is concerned so now what you'll do is like let's uh, go to uh, uh, the web portal url Let's head to uh, the web services URL and then uh, press apply. Let's wait for it to complete. So uh, this is completed. Let's go to the web portal URL and then let's uh, click on apply here too. Let's wait for it to complete. Let's give it uh, one more minute. Yep, this is complete now. Uh, let's uh, click on this URL. Let's key in the required password. So if we can see here, uh, we are able to um, uh, resolve to this uh, uh, URL without any issue. So uh, uh, this way, we were able to um, uh, demo that uh, how to add a report server and report server TMDB database into always on availability group. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.